Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this example. So we have a sequence Xn, it is a sequence in R2 and we have to prove that it is convergent in R2 with a Euclidean distance, right? But the problem is that that sequence Xn is defined in two different ways. Okay, so uh, first nine terms is defined using this formula. First component is 2 raised to n and the second is 1 by n and all remaining terms are defined in this way. First component is 2 raised to 10 and the second is minus 1 by n. So we have to prove that it is convergent. So let me mention, we will prove that, we will prove that, that sequence Xn converges to, okay, so we have to find one point where the sequence Xn converges, right? Uh, first nine, for first nine terms, Xn is de defined in this way. That means first nine terms are defined using this formula and remaining infinitely many terms are defined using second formula. So we know that the limit of sequence is not decided by first finite terms. Actually, it is decided by all remaining infinitely many terms. That's why we will not give much importance to this definition, our mainly focus on second definition, getting since it is true for infinitely many numbers. That means for all n greater than or equal to 10. Let us think about the first component 2 raised to 10. It's a constant. If you take any limit, you will get the same. So that's why the first component will be uh, limit of 2 raised to 10 is 2 raised to 10 since it is constant. Let us think about the second component minus 1 by n. If you apply the limit n tends to infinity, its value will be zero. So that means the second component converges to zero. So I will take zero here. So now our target is to prove the given sequence Xn converges to this point, 2 raised to 10 comma zero, right? Uh, I'm going to prove this thing using epsilon definition. Let us take epsilon. Let epsilon greater than zero be given. I'm sure you are familiar with the definition. Then also I will write the definition here so you can easily see and uh, guess the my next steps so distance between xn and x should be less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital n actually our main task is to find this capital n for which this definition will be satisfied so let us start to work on this d of xn x let us find its value so consider d of xn x x means uh, limit of that sequence which is 2 raised to 10 comma 0. So as I told you earlier, d is a Euclidean distance. Do you know how to find uh, Euclidean distance? Euclidean distance is defined using this norm. Let me write. So xn minus 2 raised to 10 comma 0, right? So this is equal to norm xn. What is my xn, my xn? Okay, so this xn I'm going to take, get it? Since uh, it is de it is defined for infinitely many n and it is only for finitely many n. So consider, let me mention initially for all n greater than or equal to 10. Okay, so obviously I will use the second definition. 2 raised to 10 comma minus 1 by n minus 2 raised to 10 comma 0. So tell me how to subtract. Obviously the subtraction is component wise. The first component minus first component 2 raised to 10 minus 2 raised to 10 0. Second component minus second component minus 1 by n minus 0. Will you guess the next step? Uh, subtraction is obvious, right? No. Uh, yes. So norm 0 and minus 1 by n minus 0 minus 1 by n. So now we have to use the definition of norm. Tell me what is the definition of norm? Definition of norm is very simple square root of square of first component plus square of second component. So it is square root of its square is 0 and its square is 1 by n square. Square of minus 1 is plus 1. If you add 0, you will get same. This is equal to root 1 by n square. I will take separate separate root. Root of 1 is 1. Root of n square is n. Let me call it as 1. So the value of this d of x n x is 1 by n. So now our target is to prove that is less than epsilon. Okay. After that, 
uh, there is one property which help us to prove this thing very easily and that property is nothing but Archimedean property. Let me mention by Archimedean property. So that property says there exists always a natural number greater than given real number. You can take any real number, whatever you want. And definitely this property says there exists one natural number greater than the given real number, right? So by Archimedean property, let me mention there exists capital N belongs to set of natural number. There exists a natural number, get it? But see, I'm adding one condition that n should be greater than or equal to 10. The reason is that, uh, see, here we are using the second definition and which is true for n greater than or equal to 10. So that's why I'm adding this condition here. So uh, easily we can prove it such that, such that now I have to choose one real number, which is less than this capital N. Okay, so I need to do some rough calculations rough work. So I will do some rough work here to decide what should be my real number such that n is greater than that. See, this is value of uh, d of x and x, which is 1 by n. I suppose to prove it is less than epsilon. I have to prove this is less than epsilon. Its value is 1 by n. So 1 by n less than epsilon. Let us interchange. So 1 upon epsilon less than n. So that's why my real number is 1 upon epsilon. Okay. After that, what will I do? Mm, I will interchange them. So 1 by n less than epsilon. Okay, so this is my second thing. So I'm calling it as 2. Okay, see one more condition is there that is n greater than or equal to capital N. That thing I need to consider now for n greater than or equal to capital N. I'm trying to bring this 1 by n here. Huh? So for that I'm going to take reciprocal of both sides. So 1 by n less than or equal to 1 by capital N. This is 3. So now my task is to simply combine 1, 2 and 3. Let us see what will happen from 1, 2 and 3. Tell me what will I get? We started with what? D of xn 2 raised to 10 comma 0. We got its value. We found out its value is 1 by n. 1 by n is less than or equal to 1 by capital N and 1 by capital N is less than epsilon. Okay. And all these things are true for n greater than or equal to capital N. We should not forget this condition. So I have written that thing here. So A less than B, B less than C. So we can say A less than C. That is D of xn 2 raised to 10 comma 0 is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital N. Okay, so the definition, you can easily see the definition of convergent sequence we have got here. So I can clearly declare here, therefore that sequence, therefore that sequence xn converges to 2 raised to 10 comma 0 in R2D where D is Euclidean distance. Okay. So make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.